Hey everybody, Melinda here. Uh, getting ready to make a soap. Um, I started a Facebook group for my soap company and people who have bought from me and friends and family are in it and they suggested um, a combination that I'm going to try out. I did a little bit of research, figured out how much of each ingredient I would need. Um, so I'm good to go on that. I've got my live water here. I did this last night. I did two batches. Uh, I was going to soap last night, but it was just a little too exhausted, so didn't end up doing it. Um, I am using activated charcoal and a green from Nurture Soaps uh, in it. Um, this is a soap that I am making for my son. Um, we just found out that he was diagnosed with um, Hodgkin's lymphoma this week, and I'm going to call this... Um, hashtag warriors for Austin soap um, when it is ready it will be up on the site um, but all of the proceeds of it are going to go to him so yeah anyway I'm just mixing up my mic a little bit and the um, activated charcoal because I didn't mix them up they were just sitting here so um, Oh, and I forgot to grab an extra pitcher so I could have two separate co or three colors because I'm going to do a uh, white, black, and then the green. So I will have to pause for the cause and go get those. And I'll be right back. And just like that, I reappear. <laughs> um, so I got my pictures for the different colors because I'm going to do white, uh, black, and green. And I'm going to go ahead and get my... Um, my blender here, it's over to the side, oh, and it's not plugged in either, I'm so prepared. Pardon my mess, if you see a mess by, in the camera view. Okay. Uh, I have a mixture of olive oil, coconut oil, palm oil, sweet almond oil and macadamia nut butter in this. Um, got a couple little chunky chunks that need to be uh, taken care of. There we go. And you always want to make sure you're pouring your lye down the hatch, not splashing around. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and mix in all of the fragrance into one. Um, I want to see what it's going to do before I decide if I'm doing uh, white, because it may take quite a bit of the oxide. There is pine tar in here, patchouli, um, lemon, a little tiny bit of tea tree, and a little tiny bit of clove. Um, it smells pretty good actually. I didn't think the combo was going to be to my liking, but uh, it does smell pretty good. So we will see what color this comes out um, with some white in there. And... And these are all essential oils. Uh, I got them from, I don't remember what company it was. I'll try to link it down below um, for the company. Okay. Over here. And I'm going to take one picture and pour some in there. Good thing I had that sitting there. Put some in here. And the rest I am going to leave. Um, I'm going to put some white in it. See if I can lighten it a little bit anyway. Uh, 
kind of sitting in there with the charcoal. There's a little bit of charcoal in the in the bottom of it. <laughs> okay. There it is. Got some premix titanium dioxide that I'm gonna put in here. It may end up being the beige, but we will see. out of the way really quick. Looks like my soap is setting up a little bit so I gotta move faster here I think. Okay so we got tan, black, and green. That's what we're gonna be going with. I didn't know that essential oils would pop up this fast and, and thicken this quickly, but evidently so. So, <laughs> you learn something new every day. And then the last batch, which is going to be the black. Oh, that's setting up quick. Holy, holy shnikey. I'm going to move quick. And it's probably going to end up being gray, but whatever. We're going to go with it. Okay. Get this out of the way. Heart. I've never worked with pine tar before and that's part of what's in here so um, yeah it's probably not the easiest to work with but we will see put a little bit of this in the bottom and yeah, it's already setting up in there crikey I'm going to have a little bit of streaks of the charcoal because um, there's charcoal on the spatula. But you know what? It's not the um, colors that are going to count on this soap anyway. Uh, it's the fragrance, which is very clean smelling, I'll tell you that much, um, and what it's for. So we will see how this works out. Try to mix up this green. <laughs> this may be a layered soap. Um, <laughs> it's really super thick. Yeah, it's going to be layered pretty much. Um, not having much of a choice here. It's been a while since I've made some soap. Um, you know, you, when you're a soap maker, you do it in batches for the seasons. And um, but I had a request for this one to see what I could do with it and um, I needed some soap therapy since we found out that Austin has Hodgkin's on Wednesday. I needed something to take my mind off of it so we are soaping to take our mind off of it. Okay. Yeah see how thick that is? It's like pudding. It shouldn't be that quite that thick and I did not over blend. Um, it's just the pine tar I think. And the pine tar is doing its own dang thing. So, we're doing a layered soap, but that's okay. Might be able to do something in the top of it. We'll see. Um, if you've used uh, essential oils before, down below let me know if it's a is it essential oil thing or a pine tar thing that this thickened up so quick because I'm curious uh, to see what the answer is 
Now look at how thick that is. It's like pudding. <laughs> That's okay. First time for everything, you know, learning how to do essential oil soap. So. We shall see. But yeah, I think I'm going to name it. I'm just going to do the name of Austin's group that we made for him. Um, it is hashtag Warriors for Austin. And I think that I'm just going to name it hashtag Warrior for Austin soap. Because it seems fitting. With the pine tar in there, it's almost like a dark green instead of a black with the uh, charcoal. Um, which I'm okay with. So... Uh, yeah, let me tap this down. <sighs> Definitely has a zing smell to it. It's it's um, not quite pine trees, which pine tar smells like trees, um, but not quite medicinal, but it's herbally. How's that? We'll call it herbally. I thought I was going to have enough left over to do a couple of little um, sample soaps, but I don't think so. So I'll just have to take some cuts off the edge of it uh, and see what I can do for some samples of it. I don't know. Maybe I won't do samples. We'll see. But yeah, definitely clean. Um, Kind of smells invigorating almost like you know um like some kind of i don't know i don't know how to describe this but it smells good i think anyway so it may work out to be very beneficial here we shall see i'm just putting a little bit of this green in the top so that we can kind of swirl it through maybe a little bit I think that's about all I'm going to get. Yeah. Okay. So I'll take my very expensive swirly gadget. And we'll just do some random swirling. See if I can get it to uh, move around. It's pretty thick and pudding-like, so it's not wanting to move too much. But If I'm lucky, I'll get a design in the top a little bit. Just trying to spread that through, and um, it's not spreading through very much, so I'm just going to kind of swirl around. And there we go. Ta-da! So I will be back for the cut tomorrow, and you guys have a good night. Hey guys, so it is the next day, and uh, the soap is done. It is rock hard. So we are going to cut it. I just did a simple layer because I didn't have much of a choice. <laughs> but uh, it doesn't look too bad. Smells pretty good. Excuse the dog. She's a little ticked off this morning. Like that. I think it'll be a good soap. It's a little harder of a bar than normal, but I think it's just because of the pine tar. <clears throat> I said yesterday I hadn't worked with pine tar before. I meant to say... <laughs> 
I hadn't worked with it with other fragrance oils, so I didn't know how it was going to react. Um, but yeah. It is cutting good. And uh, a little stiff, but it's not too bad. So you got a layer of the charcoal, a layer of the green, and a layer of the ivory. Um, I couldn't get it white because of the pine tar. There's just no way. And then we got a little smidgy. I'm going to cut it in half um, to make some samples out of it. If I can get it too. And this will cure for six weeks, just like every other soap. Um, it probably doesn't need it, because I think um, with me adding the pine tar, and I added it in as a fragrance, not as an oil, um, so the water discount was there. Um, so it may not need the full six weeks. I'll test it uh, as time goes on and see what I think. Um, sometimes it can be four weeks. Sometimes it can be six with the water discount in there. I don't think I've ever sold one earlier than four weeks, but um, like I said, it's all about testing. <clears throat> I'll have um, a bar that I'll cut up of my own, and over time I will test it out and see what ends up happening and make my decision from there. Now let's see if this other loaf, because I did two loaves, let's see if this other loaf will um, come out as easy. That's a good sign. Sides. Oh yeah, we are in business. Okay, I'll bring the cutter back. Need to move that one so it doesn't get in the way of the cutter. And repeat the process. And the same kind of a look to it. It's really, it's got a softness to it, but it's very, very a harder bar. Um, I'm having to push quite hard to get it to come out. That's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Like I said, it's just because of the water discount. There we go. Almost done. <clears throat> and eventually I'm going to do a another soap for cancer. Um, it's going to be a purple soap um, because that is for uh, lymphoma, Hod Hodgkin's lymphoma. It's a purple ribbon uh, and I will have that up as well. And all that money is going to go to Austin, not to me, but to him. Uh, so if he needs beanies, sweatpants, whatever, um, he can get them. And since he doesn't have a job um, because of this now, uh, he will definitely need it. So, not that we don't help him out with stuff, but you know what I mean. Sometimes you just don't want to ask mom for money. Oh, that one broke in half. Well, we'll put that in the crap pile. This one is going to be kind of weird. It may break. Nope, it didn't break, but this is a crap piece. Okay, so there you go, guys. This is the Pine Tar Patchouli Clove and Lemon Essential Oil Soap. Um, it has a little bit of a different texture to it when I'm holding it, uh, just because of the fact it's all essential oils. It's not fragrance 
uh, which is different. It has a different feel to it. Um, it's a good, nice, heavy bar. Um, I don't have my measuring thing out here, but I'm going to say it's probably approximately um, five ounces. I'm going to cut this off because I don't like the look of that. That one will be my bar. I had a, a streak down the side. I don't think you guys can see it in this lighting, but there's a streak down there and I didn't like that. So I'll just make it into some samples. People don't mind samples with streaks, so it's all good. <clears throat> and there you go. That's the hashtag Warriors for Austin Soap. And uh, yeah, I'm done. So I will talk to you guys later. Have a good day. And I uh, will see you in the next video.